Yo, what's up guys? Dave here. Welcome back to another episode of Daily German Exotics. This is a very, very special episode for me. I'm gonna go confront my boss I fired two years ago from Starbucks. But before we do that, let's do a little backstory. Okay guys, we're back in my hometown of Qualicum Beach, British Columbia on Vancouver Island. This is where I grew up, it's where it all started, and yes, Qualicum Beach has, well, Pretty nice beach. This is the house I grew up in where my dad taught me absolutely nothing about cars. This is the high school I went to. I graduated in 2001. This is actually the mechanic shop where I first learned about cars. And I actually broke a few cars while I was there. This is where it all truly begun for me. This is my first apartment I got when I was 18 years old with two roommates. This is where we actually did a turbo install. We did motor swaps. In this driveway, I had a 1991 Acura Integra. I did my own nitrous kit that failed miserably. I also did a homemade turbo kit all in this driveway. This is also where I first saw the Fast and the Furious movies. We used to play that movie on repeat all the time and get in tons of trouble. I actually got evicted from this place because there's a common area downstairs for everybody to use for storage. We put a padlock on it and put our tools in there and we'll legit do like engine swaps, clutches, transmissions for money. We had a full Toretto's garage here in Parksville, British Columbia. A few years later, they opened this Starbucks where I applied, got hired, and spent 12 years working my way up the corporate ladder. And everything was going fine until I walked into one of my stores and saw Damon Fryer sitting there, and in the parking lot was a black 458. It was like this scene from Wolf of Wall Street where Jonah Hill walks in and sees Leo, and I was like, what do you do? And he showed me. Damon had the idea for the channel, it was just starting to grow. I was in, and well, then I quit. Okay guys, we're here at one of my old stores, about to meet Rick, my old boss. I haven't seen Rick in two years. The last time I saw him, I quit. What's up, Rick? How you doing? Dave. Don't mind the camera. What the hell? What's going I do YouTube now. Good Things have changed, you. Rick. Things have changed. How you been? I've been good. Uh, two years ago last, it is July, so it's been two years almost exactly to the day. I started a YouTube channel making car videos. Car videos. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go figure. So I've got a car here I want to show you. What do you think? That's not your car. That's my car. <laughs> Dude. Seriously. Yeah. That's mine. What do you think? I'm thinking, how? I had a dream. Damon, my business partner, said I have an opportunity for you. I took it. That's okay. unbelievable. It's a 2014 Lamborghini Gallardo Squadra Corsa. There's 50 of these in the world. Wow. I. I'm, I'm speechless. We're going for a ride. Have you been in a supercar before? Never. Have you been in any fast cars? Does a Civic count? A Civic? <laughs> <laughs> Only if it's an SI. Oh, I thought the door would come up. Calm down, okay? I'm not that rich. All right, you might want to buckle up for this. I had one of these cars, and 29 days into ownership, I wrote it off. Are you serious? Yep. <laughs> but you're good, you're good. <laughs> yeah. You got life insurance? <laughs> I do. Nice. All right, Rick. First, wait, what are you looking for? I got this. You worried? Yeah, I Why am are you worried. worried? <laughs> oh. I believe we're in a Lamborghini. Yeah, this is a bit different I than two years ago. That. Working at Starbucks what together. What was it like to her, like as an employee? What were you like as an employee? Yeah, was I good? You weren't the worst employee. I'll take that. <laughs> well. Give a guy some warning. We haven't even started yet. Stop, 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 stop. Guess what? I don't work for you anymore. <laughs> right, Rick? Right, Rick? You're in my world now. <laughs> Rick, you're in my world now. five years and uh, we had some good times together. We actually got along really good. And good times, yeah. I actually, you know, honestly got really tired of just working for somebody. No, nothing personal. I just wanted to do my own thing. And you're also really awful to work for. <laughs> just joking, just joking, <laughs> just joking. Rick was actually, that's why he's in this video today. He's a really good guy. But I do and remember a little bit of conflict towards the end. I remember the day I quit, you said something to me. What'd you I say? I remember. What'd you say to me? I said, you're gonna regret this decision. Yeah? And now, who's 
Look at you. In your face! We're driving around in a freaking Lamborghini. It's all love. The truth is, is that when I decided that I was gonna do this full time with Damon and leave my safe corporate career, yeah. um, a lot of people were like, you're gonna quit your job to make videos on the internet. That's not gonna work. And for me, the more people said that, the more I was like, I'm gonna prove them wrong. You went from making lattes to driving a Lamborghini. Still Italian. It really proves though, like, all joking aside, that if you want something enough, it doesn't matter who you are. Like, I'm like a middle-aged dude from a small town on Vancouver Island in Canada. Yeah. Traveling around LA and doing crazy things with Damon and everybody else I met down there. And it's just such a blessing, man. Like, I don't take any of this for granted. Like, every time I drive this car, I'm like, yeah, this is uh... beyond my wildest trips to ever drive a car like this. So kids, if you're watching this, Follow your dream. It can happen. And fire your boss. Well, what do you think? The Lambo guy now? Yeah. Beautiful mm -hmm. like that. I lived above this car for almost two years. I parked my car there. And legit. Alright. Right up there, you guys. You see that top spot? That's a two bedroom like apartment. And I lived there for two yeah. years. And now you're pulling up in your Lamborghini. So you guys, I legit lived in that barn for two years while I built a business. It was a window cleaning company, long story. That's a whole nother video. And I sold that and built my house. But look at this, right there. Amazing. Oh, okay, you guys, we're back. We're at Rick's house now. Rick, how was that experience? Your first time in a supercar. I love the Lamborghini, man. It's incredible. What you need to do is you need to go back to one of the Starbucks and grab some of the employees and take them for a ride in this thing. Are you cool with that? Oh. Just rock in there and grab one and throw them oh, yeah. in the car? Yeah, yeah. You gotta do it. When I said you're gonna regret that move, look at you. You're driving a Lamborghini. I'm not any better looking, but I've got a nicer car now. <laughs> yeah, That's about you're it. Definitely not better looking. All right, guys, we're back at a Starbucks. This is Nicole. We worked together for how many years? No, they were the best years of your life, weren't they? They were. Well, right? the best years of your life. So you actually watch the show. I do. You and your husband are like avid DDE fans. We are, and I'm a little worried about getting in your car. Why? Because you break stuff. That's why every time I go for a drive, you see all these trees and it's beautiful up here because it's a very small city, but it's really like legit in the middle of a rainforest. So there's back windy roads, lots going on. The downside is this car is so freaking loud, there's houses everywhere. I don't want to f off the Canadians because you thought we're friendly and we're not. It's actually Dave, I used to work here. Anyways, I got a Lamborghini and Rick said they could take people for a ride if they want. Guys, it's Deanna, we worked together at Starbucks. You guys miss me at all? People miss me at Starbucks? Talk with me sometimes? Okay, let's go for a drive. So have you ever been in a supercar before? Never. Perfect, never have I. It's my first time driving one. as a boss. Well, you weren't really around. Why did everybody keep saying that? I was always there. Uh, no. No, not at all. Well, I was there, or was I like, and I was on the floor with you making steaming milk and making lattes. No, seriously, you never helped. Oh, you like it? I love the brakes. Oh, the, the brakes are actually more impressive than anything else in these cars. My first time in a supercar, it's the same thing. Like, yeah, it's fast, but it breaks like crazy. I love when you're speechless because you talked a lot when we worked together. That was nuts. I, like I thought I was gonna die like really? three times. Aww. But I trust you. I trust oh, you. So yeah. now you trust me. Yeah. Now I'm there for you. Now we work together. Is it weird watching me now? Do you watch my show at all? Yes. Do you watch it? Yeah. Do you like it? I like it. Really? I like it. Who do you 
like more, Damon or me? Well, duh. Damon, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, yeah fair enough, fair enough. He has, he has a full head of hair. works for Starbucks and making her try a, a Tim Hortons coffee for the first time. Okay, there you go. Just just bear with me. I know you're loyal to the brand. I was too. So I fired Brick. I don't even know if I can do this. You can do this. It's not cheating. Oh, that sounds so bad! <laughs> yeah, how's it? What is it? It's alright. Did they put too much cream in it? It's fine. Oh my god. When girls say that, it's never fine. It's never okay. Right? Right? I'm right. It's okay. It's okay. It's no Starbucks, you guys. The girls are all back at work. Rick said at some point they actually have a job to do. Now I'm gonna go check out a car show. Apparently it's like a hundred cars. I've never been to any car events in Enamo, so let's take the car and check it out. Alright guys, this is an Enamo car show. Look at this. We got supercars. The 430. I see a Ford GT. What's up, dude? How's it going? What's oh, up, dude? Hey, How's it going? Oh, yeah. There's a Ford GT here. Beautiful car. Beautiful car. Beautiful. We actually applied to buy one, but Ford said... They watched your video. They watched the video and they're like, about it. are breaking our car. That's yeah. what it is. Dude, we got Ferrari. Ferrari, this is your car, right? No. <laughs> the internet doesn't know any lie. Just say yes. This is your car, right? Sure. He can't do it. He's Canadian. He's too honest. <laughs> anyway, whose car is this? Anybody? Is it yours? Like it? I love it. Yeah. you ask the question. I feel like better than me or Damon. Um, that was so not true. No, no, I actually do. You're an Nanaimo boy. That's because you're, you're scared boy. of Damon. Damon's no. a poor little Bernie boy. I've never met him before. <laughs> On camera, nice off camera, I'm like a total princess. Like, oh, where's yeah? the trailer? Where's craft services? I want a Coke Zero. <laughs> you know, real Coke with no sugar. <laughs> oh, what's happening here? <laughs> this thing is sick. How, how, what, what's happening? I can't even comprehend this right now. Uh, I kind of took a Civic wagon and yeah. I rat rotted it. Um, so how did you make it look like this? Acetic acid. What? Um, this is 7% and this is 5%. So you put acid on it to make it look all... We should do this to a supercar. Right? I've never, <laughs> I've never seen this. It takes acid to the paint. It makes it look all like rusted and whatever. And everybody only does like one panel or like a hood or a fender, but I just did all of it. And then obviously you've got something happening here. Let me, I'm on the Honda guy back in the day. I see the Hasport engine mounts, which means there's a swap. Let me see if I can identify what motor it is. Don't give me any hints. Why did you uh, pick the D16? Single jingle. Single jingle. <laughs> everybody does B-series. Uh, I'm not hating on them, but I see too many of them, so... Our friends at Sheepy make turbo kits for these, like crazy turbo kits. See you dude, thanks for coming. Have a good one. Hey Dave, I think your lift's up. No, that's just a, this is not, this is not low. Time to lower it. Yeah, this is Mike Warren. We went to high school together. Hey, how's it going? This is the squad receipt. Your pants clean? Nope. I know his hands aren't clean. Knife in his back pocket. Oh man, those are comfortable seats. Yeah, for fixed, they're not bad, are they? Man, this is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Don't be afraid of it. What'd you do? What's that sound? Man. Give it a little. Wait, what's the temperature at? Hold on. That is loud. Ouch! <laughs> How was that? Love it. Yeah? Love it. Yeah, it's pretty sick, isn't it? When are we going for a ride? How was that? Monster. Absolute beast. Yep. I think I need one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Is it on Mike's list? Uh, very top of the list, other than a Koenig egg. Jeez. Yep. This is 
your first Lamborghini experience? This is my very first time in a Lamborghini. Love it. I love that I could share that with you because uh, you know you and our friends back in the day when it was Hondas and all that stuff. And well, they're less hair now, but yeah, right. Still car guys. And then it was families. Yeah, then it was minivans. And minivans, and now you're Damon here. Damon Fryer had a minivan, you guys. We used to jump it and Portal Bourney, his mom had it and he gave it to him and get it for a family car. We would literally take it to the train tracks and jump it in Portal Bourney around 2003. Yeah. True story, I wish I had footage of that. We didn't have camera phones. No. We didn't have cameras. We, we didn't have color TV. My, my first cell phone was in high school in grade nine and that was like a luxury. Yeah. We're old. <laughs> <laughs> but Damon's older. Damon is older. <laughs> first Lambo experience is good. Amazing. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. All my Starbucks family, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for all the good years. My DDE family, you guys rock. Without you, none of this is possible. Next stop, this car needs to get to LA, which means road trip. Smash the subscribe button, pick up some merch, shop DDE.com. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.